Um, we're here today to show our appreciation for the huge amount of support that El Paso has given us. They've paid for professional development, they've paid for us to enter contests, they've paid for some of our equipment, and now they're in the process of renovating a whole new robotics lab for us. It's going to be phenomenal. I think the kids here, first of all, they have something that's a lot of fun and challenging, and it turns kids on to education in a way that some of the other more traditional classes, that things that you have to learn, don't do. Um, what I'm trying to do in the robotics classes is teach the kids the kinds of lifetime work skills that will help them excel and rise to the top of whatever their employment is. They learn teamwork, they learn cooperation, problem solving, good communication skills as they solve robotics problems. Well, I'm teaching five classes. I have a capacity for 24 kids per class. Um, the way it works is I have eight tables with eight computers and I have enough robotics kits so that each class period, each table gets a robotics kit because you can't do much if they have to take the kit apart at the end of class to pass it on to the next class. So I have um, 40 robotics kits. How about this career? I mean, is this kind it's, of rewarding because you're working with children? Well, it is, but I also am pretty old when I got into it, so it's really hard work physically. It was my opportunity to give back the way El Paso was giving back. Um, I put my money where my mouth was, took a big pay cut, and left artificial intelligence to help kids before I retired.